This animal is going to freeze. Freeze, freeze? Freeze, solid freeze. That touch of ice immediately sets off signals inside the frog, says Professor John Costanzo, that pulls water away from the center of its body so the frog's internal organs are now wrapped in a puddle of water that then turns to solid ice. I, I, I still can't get over it. it. It's really an amazing, amazing thing. There is no breathing, no kidney function. The heart stops. And there will be no heartbeat for a long period of time. You mean as in no heartbeat? Right. Nothing. Flatline. Flatline. For an hour or two? It could be for days, perhaps even weeks. Really? It sounds like it's virtually dead, no? We know that the frog isn't dead, but he's probably about as close as you can get. To being dead? Yes. <laughs> so, from the outside, this little frog feels like a rock. Except that as it froze, the frog flooded itself with a kind of sugar. The frog's blood sugar is distributed through the circulatory system. It works like an antifreeze. It's harder for the water to freeze, so cells stay just damp enough for the animal to hold itself together. Until the springtime. When the days grow a little longer, and the ground gets a little warmer, and then, well, a kind of miracle happens. After weeks or months of no heartbeat, none, suddenly, there's a pulse. And that first heartbeat leads to another, and then another, and then within a day, and in the case of this little frog, it took about mm, 10 hours, the animal literally comes back to life. Spontaneous resumption of function. Why? We don't know. We don't know what triggers that event. And think how elegant a business this is. Because although the sun is warming up the outside of this little guy, somehow his insides, his heart, his brain, they thaw first. His insides warm up before his outsides. But somehow, it all happens in perfect synchrony every spring.